this exotic fruit that she got from Sprouts. Um, I don't know. Say hey. Oh, hi. And then tell them, I guess, what, what you got going on. So, I got some dragon fruit. This is regular dragon fruit. This is called Kiwano Melon, I think, or something like that. This is a yellow dragon fruit. And this is a yellow mango. So, yeah. And then I just rinsed them. And then I got these two from Sprouts. They are these um, mochi ice creams, but they're made with oat milk. You put milk on the milk. Yeah, they're good. So if y'all into this, I, I've i never had these before, so I'm not familiar with how they taste. They good? Try it. Mm -mm. But if you like something sweet, but you don't like that. It's plant-based, so for the people out there who are vegan, they're vegan approved. Oh, let's see what they look like. Oh, okay. So this is what they look like. They are to be kept in the freezer. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so this is what they look like. It's like ice cream. Oh. But it's made with oatmeal. Sounds good. But yeah, so we're going to cut these open. I'm going to cut this one open first. I think this one is supposed to be green on the inside. I'm kind of scared. I've had dragon fruit before. Um, so, I'm not inexperienced with the dragon fruit. Mm. This is what it looks like on the inside. It's green. Let me see. And these mm. little things hurt too. The little spikes. Hmm. Just eat it out the pork. This is what the texture is like. It's like slimy. You go first. Oh, oh. I don't like the texture already. I feel like we need a spoon. It's nasty. Oh my God, you frowning. <laughs> I don't like this one. It, wait, 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 wait. It wait. tastes too much like a vegetable. Like, it's not like a... And I like earthy. I like earthy tasting things, y'all. <laughs> so. I'm going to cut the on, me, yellow dragon fruit. Now. Let me try this again. The flavor is like a not so sweet. Um, you don't got no taste in it. It tastes like water. Yeah, it tastes like it's something, but it, like a not so sweet kind of orange. It tastes like a cucumber. No. I don't like the texture. I'm keeping eating I would it. have to put some type of like lemon juice or something. I don't know. It reminds me of something, but I just can't. The taste for me is not bad. I'll give it a 4 out of 10. I give it a six out of ten. This is the yellow dragon fruit. It looks, I think, I don't know, but yeah. This one look like. You can cut them. We might as well eat off the same one because I don't want to waste it. <laughs> Let's get a spoon too, because I feel like this be this is not good for. Have a smell. They don't have a taste. I like the texture. I like the texture, but overall, it's like it's no flavor at all. It's supposed to be fruit. Why is it sweet? This is the regular. I got some agave syrup. Some of this stuff, if you like. For me, I would um add like some agave syrup. Like the yellow dragon fruit is 
It's not bad because it doesn't taste like anything, but I feel like it needs something. Just a regular dragon fruit. I haven't had like dragon fruit by itself, but I've had like the little dragon fruit pieces from Starbucks. Do y'all know? I'm gonna I'm gonna look it up before this video comes out. But do y'all know if this is the dragon fruit that make you go to the bathroom? Have y'all seen that, or do anybody know about that? Mm -mm. Nope. <laughs> mm. I actually like that. That's giving um. Mm -mm. I don't like that. Mm -hmm. I had to let that. I had to let it settle on my tongue a little bit. I'm not liking that. And what's this food? A yellow mango. Be careful. You like we need some new knives, don't we? See if you can just break it. Do we got a? I want. Shouldn't have a seed. This is seed. Oh, hold on, y'all. We got to figure out how to cut that. Okay, y'all. Five hours later, we got it. Cut. It's supposed to be sliced down. So if anybody trying to cut it straight down the middle, that was hard. So we ended up having to um, cut it like down versus across. Okay. <laughs> Let me try this one. I'm not eating this thing. Mm -hmm. Now this is mm. a fruit. The initial bite is very sour, but that's actually really, really good. It's different from a regular mango. It is. It's called a yellow mango. That's good. That's I good. like the sourness. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we like this one. And I love mangoes, so. Let me show them how. Like what I mean, like cutting across. But for whatever reason, we cannot cut this thing straight across. We ended up having to slice it like that. So, thank you for joining us in our exotic fruit testing session. All right. See y'all. later in the day um for when me and my daughter tested out or tried those exotic fruits it's a bit later on in the day and as you can see <clears throat> and why my voice is going in and out i guess it's changing like the weather okay but um yeah as you can see i am cooking dinner i told y'all i was gonna make some or did i tell y'all in this vlog because i vlogged today for thursday's vlog kind of like ending it out so that's why if you see this shirt, see, it's it's Thursday today, okay? <laughs> so I ended the vlog. I ended Thursday's vlog today. <laughs> but um, I don't know if I did or did not tell y'all, but I'll show y'all. But I am making, I'm going to throw some salmon in the oven, some fresh broccoli, which I, I like the broccoli in a bag. And I still cook it the same way. I just like, I don't like the big heads of broccoli that you buy, like packaged up. Just a preference thing. Broccoli is broccoli. It's still fresh broccoli. It's not frozen. But anyway, yeah, I'm going to do salmon, broccoli, the jumbo lump crab meat, and 
I'm trying something different that I just saw. I had these Brussels sprouts. I absolutely, me and my youngest daughter, we love Brussels sprouts, okay? So I saw this um, recipe on Pinterest and I meant to do it last week and it just kind of like slipped my mind and I just, honestly, I just didn't do it. So let me turn these potatoes off. But um, yeah, so what it is, is a, with that one it is a parmesan crusted let me show y'all right quick um parmesan brussels sprouts like they look so good so it's brussels sprouts and brush it with some butter and then bake it in the oven and look how crispy and cheesy this is mmm don't they look good so I'm about to tip that <laughs> I have, let me put y'all down. I got my Brussels sprouts already here, washed and cleaned and cut. We got some Parmesan cheese. I got my bacon dish, got the oven on. So yeah, and then I got my pan over here, ready for my salmon. I already got a little olive oil. I'm gonna put some of that Kerry Gold there. I think I'm gonna put a little bit of Kerry's Gold here. Yeah, I think I'm gonna put some of that um, with the Brussels sprouts too. Yeah, that's what we gonna do because it calls for like real butter. And if y'all been watching my channel and you know anything about me, I don't buy real butter unless it's like around the holiday season and I'm cooking like, whether I'm making a sweet potato pie or like my candy yams or, you know, anything like that, like, just doing around the Christmas season. I try, I really don't buy regular butter until then because we, we just can't be eating like that every day. Like butter is bad for you, okay? So I use, I can't believe it's not butter on a regular basis. And I think my daughter bought that Kerrygold cause she made salmon a couple of, a couple of weeks ago. And that's just what's left. So I'm gonna go ahead and use that. I'm gonna use some for our salmon and I'm gonna put a little bit in here. And then I'm also gonna add some of the I can't believe it's not butter. So I'm gonna show y'all how I do this and then I'll let y'all know how it turned out. <laughs> so let me get the butter. Per the recipe, it says to make like a mixture of some sort. I'm not sure. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm actually just gonna put like two dollops of this because this is garlic and herb butter. So I'll put two dollars of that and then I'm going to add the rest. So I'm believe, I can't believe it's not, can't believe it's not butter. And one thing about this, the reason I say that I use, um, I got a new one in the refrigerator, but the reason that I say I don't use regular butter all the time or the, I'm sorry the reason that I do use butter during the holiday season for certain recipes is because if you know anything about I can't believe it's not butter it's once it melts it's not like thick as butter it's a little watery so that's the reason behind me using regular butter during the holiday season and then of course we want all the fat during the holiday season because we only get those meals once a year. So we're going to do it right. You know? Okay. So I'm about to stick this in the oven and then I'm going to pop this out and do the little mix with the Parmesan cheese and the seasonings. And then we'll put our Brussels sprouts in face down and then we'll pop it back in the oven. Okay. All right, y'all. Y'all know what? I actually decided I'm about to kill two birds with one stone. Hold on, let me turn y'all around a little bit. Yeah, I'm gonna just kill two birds with one stone and put my pan for, I got a little bit of olive oil on here and then I'm gonna put some of this garlic butter. And what I'm gonna do is just go ahead and season my salmon. Might as well just use that a little bit. Season my salmon and then get that in the oven at the same time as the Brussels sprouts. And then the potatoes are done. I just have to cut those up and put those on broil and stick those back in the oven for just a few minutes. And um, broccoli only takes a minute. So yeah, 
that's what I decided to do instead of trying to cook. Well, not trying, but instead of like doing everything separate, I might as well just go ahead and get this in there too. So I'm going to melt this butter for our salmon and then I'll be back again. You don't mean nothing to me e boys like you every dinner I don't believe what you preach You're just a rookie beginner Hang out with boys on the street Like that will make you a winner Believe what I see Why are you wearing gold? You're nothing more than silverware Thinking you're so bold But all you are is unaware Walk around like everything belongs to you slice of lemon but here is how everything turned out these are the brussels sprouts <laughs> over here and these are the potatoes they mimic each other on the plate but yeah this is it sometimes i put the lump crab meat on top sometimes i don't but i like a lot of lemon well not a lot of lemon but uh -oh. i like lemon on my salmon so squeeze as much as I can out of here that's enough and I'm about to chow down <laughs> is it raining it's cold it is literally 40 degrees well it went just just literally as i looked down it went down to 39 and my car got like a little snowflake next to it march first georgia what are we doing i mean um 
that's about normal because we got a forecast of rain for like really for the rest of this week and a little bit of next week. I don't think we see a little bit of sun until the end of next week, I believe. So, yeah. <laughs> 27 I'm on my way to Costco we don't have any more selfies my husband bought this from um, I think like from the gas station or something like that yesterday or last night when he came in so as far as some being at the house we don't have any so I'm on my way to Costco to do that sorry y'all I'm trying to pay attention to the road I can't I'm trying to look at y'all but I can't really look at y'all like that because it's raining kind of hard and of course, I got to keep my eyes on the road. So yeah, but uh, yeah, I'm on my way to Costco to grab some Celsius. And anytime I go to Costco, I don't care how much tissue we have, I'm going to pick up some more. <laughs> so I'm just going to pick up one pack of tissue, one pack of paper towel. And um, I like going over by the Mall of Georgia because all the other stores, like when I do go to Costco sometime, I like to go to that one over there because... It has like across the street, it has a TJ Maxx Home Goods, Nordstrom Rack, Target, the mall, of course, is across the street. Um, what else they got over there? They got Kirkland's, Alta, Rumble Cookie, if you want some cookies, Party City, Hobby Lobby. So everything is all in that like one plaza. And then, like I said, the mall is across the street. So, I'm thinking about, I, I think I'm going to go to that one. And I think once I leave there, I'll probably just kind of go bum around in a few stores over there just to, I don't know, get out the house. Don't ask me why I would want to be out on a cold, rainy day. I just, it don't really matter to me. I love beautiful weather. I love the sunshine, of course. But I used to be like, oh, I'm not going out when it rains. Girl, you got an umbrella. I got on my raincoat. Of course, you see up through my head, I got this little puff on the back coming through my um <laughs> through my hat because I couldn't wet my hair this morning. It's too cold and crazy enough, it's wet, but it's just too cold for me to be outside with wet hair. So when I'm talking y'all ears off. It's starting to rain a little harder. Traffic is picking up, so I need to pay attention to this road. So I'm gonna see y'all when we get to the store because I won't. Yeah, I'll just see y'all when we get to the store. <laughs> I just wanted to let you know this was a dumb idea to come out. It is freezing and raining out here, but I'm gonna just roll with it <clears throat> because I forgot about my little favorite store. It's called the Painted Tree. <laughs> I will go in there because it's right across the way. We just gonna hang around. We just gonna thug it out today, okay, y'all? On this cold, it's a little windy. I don't know where these people not have no coats on. Woo! Alright, y'all gotta get my Costco card out. See y'all in a minute. So we finally made it in Costco and I see that they have these hangers. Um let me see. Let me show y'all. You get 50 in a box for only $14. So that's actually a good deal. And these are all the hangers that I use on my closet, the black felt ones. So that's good to know. But the only thing about Costco is that they may not have them the next time I come. But I don't need any right now. All the flowers. All right. Let's get in here and get what we need and get out.
It's cold. It is cold. Oh my god, what made me put on this little thin rain jacket? You this Y'all can't hear me over this button. Hold on. Okay, so there has been a change of plans. <laughs> um, it's too cold and rainy. My hands were just freezing. It is 40 degrees. Like, Georgia, what are we doing? What are we doing here? Okay. Why am I not with some slides on with a short sleeve shirt and maybe some jeans? I'm not even going to push it to say shorts. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not going to push it that far to say we should actually be in shorts. However, we should be able to have either open-toed or open-heeled shoes on, okay? A t-shirt, maybe a light jacket, a little light sweater. I got on this thin little raincoat, and then I got the shirt underneath. This is not even like a thick sweatshirt or anything. Your girl out here freezing, but... <laughs> I am about to, I wanted to go to World Market. I wanted to go to the Painted Tree. Uh, where else did I want to go over here? Oh, um, Nordstrom Rack. I still may, I still might peek my head in Nordstrom Rack. Um, and then I wanted to go to Alta. Yeah, but I'm not jumping in and out of the car t today. It's too cold, it's too rainy. Is windy, so what I think I'm gonna do because Home Goods and Home Goods and TJ Maxx is in the same building, and then Nordstrom Rack is literally literally right down the street. I just feel like peeking my head in there. I haven't been in there in a while. I haven't been to this Home Goods or TJ Maxx in quite some time. So while I'm already over here, I really want to just peek my head in there because I'm already over here anyway. Um. And then after that, I'm going home. I'm thinking about going to get some buffalo shrimp. I don't know why. I don't want chicken, but I got a taste for like the buffalo sauce. So I may be going to grab that for lunch. I don't know yet. Because like I said, it's raining. If the rain at least let up a little bit, I don't mind the cold. But the mixture of the rain and the cold, I just can't do. So we about to head to TJ Maxx home goods because i am still on a hunt for one of the, another one of those sweaters that got the fly, <laughs> the flowers on there and i'm also looking for like a spring roll but today is not giving me spring vibes where i feel like i should be looking for a spring robe to match those um, house shoes that i bought the other day so we'll see but it because they're in the same building we just gonna roll with it okay and I'm still also, remember, I'm still also looking for a rug for my bathroom, too. So, all right, y'all, let me keep my eyes on the road so we can make it to TJ Maxx um, Home Goods. And then we're going to shoot to Nordstrom Rack right down the way. And then we're going to take our butts home and get out of this cold because I'm not trying to get sick. All right? All right, y'all. Okay, y'all, so I'm about to head to Sunshine and pink clouds in the sky and everything is right Imagine stars lighting up the night and a shooting star so vibrant You have to make a wish Nothing's ever in your way Scoring every shot you make No, you've never heard of pain Because you're just high on life Every day is Saturday, life is sweet as birthday cake Why can't it just stay this way? Skies 
a totally peaceful mind Never need a second try Know you get it right the very first time It could be the best of days It could be the best of times Why do we need the troubles? Why? Why do we need the troubles? Why? Nothing's ever in your way Sweetest birthday cake Why can't it just stay this way? First I think of a delicate thing and then of a break about maybe my hat I just keep pulling it down but it's maybe about 45 minutes since the last time I picked up the camera since we went I think the last time I picked y'all up we were in TJ Maxx um the only place I went from TJ Maxx is Nordstrom Rack I'll show y'all what I picked up there I got two pair of shoes like a straw um a straw my mouth is moving faster than my brain I hate when I say um 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 but a straw bucket hat is what I'm trying to say. And a pair of earrings. I had this blue jean skirt, but I put it back because I felt like the front slit would maybe be too high. And, and then out of TJ Maxx, I picked up two pair of pajamas, a lip mask, and some curling jelly. I had like this bowl. I had a whole bunch of stuff in my buggy and... I'm about to start purging again. I do this every season. If if you continue to watch me, you will know like wintertime I purge, summertime I purge. Well, like spring, summertime, early spring, summertime I purge. Um, not so much as fall, but I do go into like winter because a lot of our fall is actually kind of a mixture of spring and then it just, you know, so like my fall and winter clothes, eh. But I have so many old clothes. And honestly, y'all, if I'm going to be real frank, I'm really running out of space. Uh, I think today or this weekend, I, I don't want to go to Ikea because I just don't feel like doing all of that. But I am, when the last time when I went to Ikea, they didn't even have it. But what I'm going to do is order that Billy bookcase. And I have in that empty bedroom that I'm going to make like my little my little area. I'm going to get that Billy bookcase and make that like for shoes they already have a rack in there i'm hoping that it can go on a wall and i can keep the racks if i can't then what i'm gonna do is i'll show you all when i get home too because what I, other than that what i'm gonna have to do is put the bookcase where the racks are and then buy some new racks to go on the side because i even got clothes hanging up in there and it's getting ridiculous because my wardrobe how i want oh my god this big old dog running loose how I want to oh did I go on there? Um, how I want to dress. I'm sorry, y'all. How I want to dress always changes, and I think like with age, I'm starting to think of being more comfortable and just like everyday wear, and just maybe have like a few pieces here and there for like date night and things like that. Because it's not like I'm going to events. It's not like I'm going to weddings or, you know, doing anything like that. So, honestly, I don't even need those kind of clothes. And I love those kind of clothes, though. I, I gravitate, especially in the summertime. Like, I graduate to, like, cute dresses and stuff like that. But I have to remember, 
the reason why a lot of this stuff is sitting in my closet is because I feel in my mind that I don't have anywhere to wear it and that's becoming a problem. So now I'm being a little bit more conscious as to what I buy and the reasoning behind it. And that's not even just clothes. Like it's even stuff around my house. Like I told y'all, I have this whole closet that I showed y'all many times that need to be cleaned out from knickknacks of stuff that I'm just going at home goods or TJ or whatever. Excuse me. And I'm like, oh, I love this. I can't leave it. But then really don't have a purpose for it. I had this beautiful black and... Oh, excuse me. Excuse me. I had this beautiful black and wood bowl. It was black on the outside. It was like shaped different. It had three little feet. Real cute. And I just rode around TJ Maxx with that doggone thing in my in my basket. And I'm like, where I'm all the time I'm thinking, like, where am I gonna put this? Where can I possibly put this? There was nowhere that I could think of besides one place where I really have like wood elements and that's in my family room. I'm like, I don't even have anywhere to put it. So, and like I told y'all, I'm ready to do like major stuff to my house. I don't like my family room couch. I really want to sell it. It's probably, it's not even two years old. I hate that couch. <laughs> I wish I would have. I had leather couches in my family room this whole time, but here I am going to get this doggone cloth couch because that was a trend. And then it's not that it's dirty or stained. It just, I don't like it. It sits very low, um, is not the look I want anymore. So many things I want to change, but I'm just being patient, y'all. But I'm sitting out here uh, outside the $3 cafe. I'm about to go in here and get me some buffalo shrimp and some fries because they got the best buffalo sauce to me and the best blue cheese ever. And then I'm going home. It is 2 o'clock on the dot. So I don't have anything else plan for this evening i'm gonna go home and really just chilling on out of course i'll show you all what i picked up okay all right so let's go i probably won't take y'all in here because why would y'all want to see me eat y'all don't want to see me eat it's very i'm about to have blue cheese uh, all around my mouth because i'm about to tear this food up <laughs> this is my first time eating today so i'm gonna do that and then like i said i'll when i when i get home i'll show y'all everything i picked up all right y'all see y'all in a minute by the way February 2nd but I finally made the salad I was telling y'all about with the mango watermelon kiwi and cucumbers bomb let me show you so good it's so good it's I'll um I'll link I'll, I'll link the ingredients at the bottom in the comments I mean now not in the comments but in the description I'll leave what the ingredients are but it is so good it's refreshing it feels light it's good y'all gotta try it hey y'all it is much later in the day on saturday it is probably 7 30 7 31 <laughs> to be exact but i didn't show you all yesterday what i picked up from tj maxx and nordstrom rack so i'll show you that now i've already taken this out of the packet but I bought this. I've used this before. This Laneige. Is it? Is it Laneige or Laneige? We're going to say Laneige. Um, lip sleeping mask in the berry flavor. It was a little pricey, but I guess compared to what you would probably pay for it at maybe Sephora or Ulta would probably be a little bit more expensive. But this is what it looks like. I actually used it last night. It came with this little... 
thing here, which I need something to let you know. It smells good. I don't, I'm not, I'm probably, well, I'll just leave it in here because I'm the only person that's using it. I was actually just about to throw it away, but no biggie. But it feels so good on the lips. Oh, I don't want that though. Yeah, it feels really good on the lips. I, I used it last night, but I've used this before. I just never used like a flavored one or a scented one. This one, like I said, is in the berry flavor. And it was $16.99. And then I also saw this um, elongating. It's the Aunt Jackie's Flaxseed Recipe Don't Shrink Flaxseed Elongating Curling Gel. I used this this morning on my hair just a little bit and um, I like it so far. So I guess that was a, a positive. And then what else did I pick up from? Hold on. I picked up, well, just two pajama sets. I know y'all don't really care about my little two pajama sets. And then let me show you what I picked up from um, Nordstrom Rack. Un momento. All right, so I picked up like this straw bucket hat. You probably won't be able to get the idea because of my hair, but <laughs> I thought it was cute for like the summertime, cute little sundress, my hair like in a low, low bun, slick back. I thought it would be cute. Not, not this hair. It, it won't work with this hair, okay? <laughs> but I loved it. It just caught my attention because of like the white, or cream detailing here and the fact that it's a straw bucket hat yeah and it was only um it was 19 yeah it was 19.97 but i just thought it was cute and a little different i don't know i rarely even wear the bucket hats that i have but i am trying to change it up a little bit and then I also picked up these Jessica Simpson sandals here. They were 19 as well. Well, 1997. Um, and I got them in silver. And then I also got them in black. And it's just like, you know, the one. So let me show y'all. My feet don't look bad, so. That's why I tell y'all, you get a pedicure all year round, okay? You cannot just get pedicures in the summertime. I put one <laughs> on each foot. So I put, yeah, but I, I I really was just going in there. It was so cold and rainy yesterday that I don't even know why I would even have wanted to, but. I would show you how they look in my room, but in the um in the mirror, I would show you how they look in the mirror, but it's dark out and you won't be able to get the full detail. But I just thought it was cute and different and you know, just a little simple shoe. I love like the little platform on it. So yeah. And this is the pajama set that I picked up. It's just these shorts here. And then just this little striped shirt. It's so soft. That's what, what made me get it. Because I'm like, oh, this is so soft. And then I also picked up this little short set. Because I'm about to start purging some of my old stuff. Um, like some very old pajamas that I had that I'm like, I'm not wearing those no more. And then these should be, yeah, these must be so big. Like this is a large, it is huge. And then I got the, um, it comes with the matching shirt. And it's just like this, I guess like, I don't know what that print can be considered. Oh, it's the extra large. No wonder, I'm like, God, these look big. Jeez, and then the blue one is just like this ribbed, material like that so yeah but that's everything that i picked up so that's it <laughs> so that is basically everything i picked up i ordered like these little necklaces from amazon some glass straws and like a straw cover i guess you can call it from amazon 
but nothing major there. I, I won't even bother to show y'all because who haven't seen glass straws? Who haven't seen? It's just like a little gold necklace. Maybe I'll show y'all that if I don't, um, if I remember to do it tomorrow because it's downstairs and actually my battery is pretty low on my camera. But I did want to make sure that I did not forget to come in here and show you all what I picked up yesterday from Nordstrom Rack and TJ Maxx because I told y'all I would. So, yeah, some nacho dip today. I told y'all I was going to do that too. My mom just came by. Wait, is that? Girl, this one, wait, is this ripped? Oh, that's how it was made. I thought, like, I always had to look and I'm like, is that ripped? Y'all see that? But that's, that's how it was made. Is that how it's made? Oh, yeah, I guess so. Yeah, I just wanted to, um, you know, make sure I come in and show you all. But yeah, I was telling y'all that I made some nacho dip and it was so good. So good. It's always a hit every time I make it. But um, yeah, that's all I got going on. I don't want to hold y'all. I just want to show y'all. All right. All right. I'll see y'all later. <laughs> hey, y'all. Good afternoon. Because it's about 12 o'clock. It just hit. It actually probably just hit noon. Um, today is Sunday. I just wanted to come on and show y'all. I got my money's worth when it came to this Dior, Dior. This uh, Dior lip oil. Look at this. Nothing. Not nothing to scrape. Nothing to anything. Let's see if it's... It's, it's trash. Throw it away, Gabrielle. It's done. Wait a minute. Got a little bit. Oh, y'all, don't mind my hair. I'm not doing my hair today. I just got on my little... I don't want to call it a do-rag, but it's not quite a bonnet either. I don't know what to call it, but I love sleeping in this thing. It doesn't leave any marks on your forehead or anything like that. I love this thing. But I did forget, I wanted to show you all what I got from Amazon. And I forgot to show you all these earrings. Actually, I took one off. Let me put it back on real quick. But I forgot to show you all these earrings that I picked up when I was at Nordstrom Rack. When I was showing you all what I did get from Nordstrom Rack. I left these out. But they're, um... Mm. Oh my goodness. Is one of them, oh my goodness, is that twisted? Girl, why I think it's twisted? I'm gonna have to get something to open. But nonetheless, it's these, um two-tone well mixed metal so it's the gold and a silver metal hoop and they're by the brand DKNY and they were 21 21.97 can you see that I'm just trying to focus on hearing oh that's horrible I want y'all to get dizzy looking at that but they were 21.97 I'm going to show you all the stuff I picked up from Amazon. Not much, not nothing spectacular. I got these are some glass, not glass toppers, but uh, straw toppers. Like, you know how you have like your water bottles or whatever, and they have the straw, and the straw is like, you know, open, exposed. It doesn't have anything covering it up. I know it's about to be that time of the year, bug season. So, all right, let me get something to cover up. My straws lit. So they came like this. And you just slide them onto your water bottle. I gotta wash them, but you just slide them onto your water bottle. How they were showing them like you can stretch them, but you know that part goes down and then you know you put it on your water bottle. I just got these colors. They come, you know what? As I was looking for some, they got like all kind of like where the tops are like airplanes, teddy bears, panda bears. Um I even seen some, if you're like a physician or you work in a medical field, that they had some for that. Like they just had all kind. I just got, like I said, the simple ones. And these are colors that I would probably get water bottles in anyway. So like this one, I already have a water bottle that's very similar to this color. So I picked those up and I think these were only about, I wanna say like $4 and you get, Two, three, five. Another set of glass straws. I don't know where my glass straws keep going. I'm sure they're getting broke. 
So I will be hiding these because I didn't like to put the ones that I had when I did have them. I didn't like to put them in a the dishwasher. I like to wash them by hand with the little thing that they give you to wash them with because I know that they will get broken in a dishwasher. What I got? Oh, okay. Oh, girl. So I'm like, I know I bought like a set of like third, a lot. So it's like four of each. So it's like the straight ones, just the regular straight long ones. And then the other four are like stacked down in here. And then they come with the one that has a curve. The other ones are down in there. And then you have, I think these are shorter. Yeah, so you have two of the ones that curve. One is longer than the other one. And then you have two of just the straight ones and one is longer than the other. So like I said, I have to hide these so that they don't get broken because I like to drink like my iced coffee or smoothies or anything. I'm kind of afraid of straws I really can't see in because you don't know what's all stuck down in that. <laughs> And then I picked up this necklace, which is like, it's vintage. It's almost like brass, um, dented. I don't know what, what the proper name is, but it's like kind of like a dented metal where it gives like a vintage look. And it's like this, it's not like gold. It's almost like I said, it's like a brass color. And that's one side and then you can switch it to that side as well. I think this was maybe $14. But I think it's a cute little statement piece. Yeah, I think it's a cute little statement piece to wear. Yeah, it's cute. <laughs> so I got that. And then I also, I'm not gonna try these on because I did not know that they were not one. I thought they were all together like the other necklace that I had that I, that I wore to New Orleans. If you notice, I got a thing with coins, okay? <laughs> but these are meant to be worn in layers, like a layered necklace. And it has the coin detail. But what drew me to this one is like that little bar right there. I just thought that was cute and different, but they had it, you know, advertised like, as, they had it advertised with them together because I searched stackable gold necklaces. So this is what it looks like, but I did not know that they were separate, which is fine because I don't think this, because of the length of each, it'll be hard for them to get tangled. And then the type of necklace that they are, it would be hard for them to kind of get tangled around each other. So that's fine. Because sometimes with layered necklaces, because of the, the chain itself, it makes it hard for the chains to lay flat and be layered like they're supposed to be. So this one, this one is good. And like I said, that little bar situation is what drew me to it. So that is all I picked up. In the last few days, I won't probably be picking up nothing else because honestly, I don't need anything else right like now. <laughs> so that's that. But I just want to come in and like show you all. I'll link the stuff that is linkable. Of course, like the things that I got from Nordstrom Rag or TJ Maxx aren't linkable because you just got to go in there and find it if you find it. But I'll definitely link the stuff that I got from Amazon if you all are interested, like in the straw toppers, any of the necklaces, or even the glass straws. And yeah, that's all I got. And like I said, don't look at my hair. I'm looking crazy. I'm not doing my hair today because I'm not leaving out of the house to go anywhere today. But I do want to go ahead and close this vlog out. And I want to thank you. Thank you. Thank you for watching. And if you haven't subscribed and my channel is your vibe, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button because I would love, love, love to have you. And um, yeah, so that's all I got going on for this Sunday, this vlog. And again, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see y'all on the next one.